<laughs> lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first draft pro. Appearance. Um, Bull Tees Beer Reviews starring Paul and Michelle. Indeed. Right. So, this is like a, um, more like a tribute, like an RIP. It, it would seem that it's a goodbye video because this seems to be the end of the line for this particular movie, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like um, Die Kirsch. I believe it's. Die Kirsch, Grand yeah. Cuvee. Um, First try time we tried uh, was last night, wasn't it? Um, we'd had the original Die Kirch. I hope that's pronounced correctly, but if it's not, God knows. <laughs> we get after them, won't know in a way, same as me. But um, unfortunately, it's going to cease to exist. So um, do comment if you're going to yeah. miss this, because I've seen it still abroad. So it's not the end of the line, the end of the line. I've seen a lot of people um, a bit annoyed about it. And... Um, yeah, not exactly yeah, over the moon. Yeah, people a bit sad because it, it seems to be a favourite of some, so... It seems to have grown in popularity recently. Anyway, I haven't got it in the Perfect Draft Pro because it's a free degree, so I've got it down here. So I'll just do the, you know, <laughs> fitness. Let's do the pour. Unfortunately, we don't have the glass. They're not even hard, to, um, easy to come by them glasses. They do have a few here and there. Yeah. So this is obviously running at three degrees. Michelle being the expert, sampling them last night. So. Right. So first of all, let's have a look at this. And there we go. It's a lovely deep amber colour with a nice creamy foamy head on it there. Calm that down for a little while. Oh. When in doubt, you want to <laughs> don't you? Have you got a picture of the keg or something for this? It's yeah, I'll find a picture glass, of the keg. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. This looks really good even before you try it i love the color of this it's like amber isn't it it's a, it's a deep amber a rich amber color i thought it was meant to be copper yeah it looks more no, amber it's definitely a deep amber color i'm sure it's meant to be copper but yeah a vienna lager as i said 5.1 percent abv coming from luxembourg as i say if you're going to miss it do comment um beer all can ab and bev they do watch a lot of our videos so you know, share it, who knows, maybe they might listen, or try and hound Conrad for a year like I did, <laughs> for um, Frankie Royal. Yeah, you're getting some lovely aromas from this, it smells rich, and there's hints of something sweet in there, toasted malt, mm. yeah, yeah I'd agree. it is, a, it is a, a lovely smelling drink. Right. Toffee. Yeah, yeah, it's got a, it's got a sweetness there. But I would say, would say, like, it's got fruit there, like plum. Plum? Apricot? I don't know, mm. something like that. This, like. Mm, not so much. I know someone said about orange, but I wouldn't have said orange. Okay, let's go in. Taste. But yeah, you can, t you can smell your malts. Which you're always going to basically roasted and toasted, apparently. I'm sure that's what the old write up said. Okay, it's got a nice sweet quality to it that isn't overly in your face. There's a lovely um, caramelly smoothness to it that it brings a lovely sweetness, but then it goes on to be sort of more a toasty kind of malt. And it is finishing on a slightly kind of herby finish. Herby, bitterish. I don't find this really that bitter at all. See, but I there say, is something in there that's balancing out the sweetness. I say that these Vienna lagers 
it's not edging towards owls. Not like full on owls, but that makes sense. Mm, yeah, possibly. I, I, I no like one else has said it, it's just my opinion. I opinion. like the sweet creaminess of this, it, but it isn't artificially sweet or too in your face sweet. It, that's actually, I didn't sample it last night, and the reason I didn't sample it, like I don't read stuff half the time, is because I didn't want to cloud my judgement, and I was already drinking my singer last night, and I said it's it's wrong to drink it, whereas to Michelle had a, a few pints of that, I was drinking my singer. But I was I, so pleasantly surprised by this, and true, I'm absolutely so surprised that, you know, it's not going to be about in England now, because... We found this too late. I would actually drink this regularly. I think it's very pleasant. I'm, I'm, I can't say I'm its greatest fan. I can't be a greatest fan of everything. I mean, I do like my alcohol, I must admit. I do have that problem. I think for you, this is probably a little bit too sweet because you're getting that touch of honey in there as well. And the caramel. Yeah, I was going to say honey, and I thought you were thinking um, on Wally. No, there's you definitely got fruits, a honey note to a it. Honey, you've got ca caramel, toffee or caramel, or maybe a bit of both. It's nowhere near as sweet as what people said. It it, no, it's it's balanced nice. off. It's got a nice balanced end to it. And it, it, it's kind of a, a herby, sort of natural kind of... It's not bitterness, though. It, it, it is more herby. We had the original bitter. one, and it weren't too good. This Graham Kiwi, that's good. I, I think this is lovely. No, I can see why you liked it last night. But as I said, I didn't want to try, because I'd rather try it when I'm totally... Clean palette, I'll do this one, you see, then I can do another one a few hours later. Well, after me, I've got an interview every one today. But, um, yeah, that is, that's impressed me. I've got to admit, it, 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 there is sweet malts, but it's not oversweet. And I can see why this, this has actually mm. started to gain popularity in the beer groups on Facebook, which it hadn't originally, had it? Yeah, I think, I, I just never bothered trying it before it wasn't something that I thought oh yeah look at that I really want to try it and I really feel like I've missed out now because this is a really pleasant drink but the problem is you see if you want you've got 60 kegs on offer including the seasonal ones and if people keep insisting on new ones something has to go yeah who knows that could come back as a temporary thing we don't mm. know how popular it is in Europe I know it's still on the French site because I saw it um, yesterday from our one, it's totally gone, and apparently, this is again what I read on Facebook in a, in a PD uh, KT beer group. Mm -hmm. a, a perfect draft keg chips, is it? So I think I'm mixed up <laughs> with the abbreviation. Um, apparently, someone from Beer Hawk said, That's it, that's the end of the line. So, I don't know. But who knows? It could come back like Frankie Royal did a year or so later when everyone says it's dead. It could come back. Um, I'm surprised. I actually like it. I didn't think I would. Yeah, it it, it was it was just one I'd overlooked. It, it kind of didn't draw me in, and you're not that keen on that kind of style, so you kind of overlooked it. We had it. the original. I'm, 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 I'm ashamed that we didn't get to ashamed. try it. Oh, I'm shocked. Well, this is we a revelation. Give this, we didn't give this a go earlier because this, You've really, got no shame. Is, this really is a oh great drink. Oh my God, drink. you're ashamed. Yeah. And this, this, this is legendary. If anyone I'm is watching out. this, I can't believe she's ashamed. She has no shame. Jesus. But I just no. shouldn't have overlooked it. It really is a good drink. Really oh, I've had you loads of times. Choose a keg. <laughs> I've got a French kind of for me. That's what I mean. I sometimes, I'll just, um, I'll totally overlook We used to have one keg for me. Um, one keg for both of us, and one keg you choose. And she was like, whatever, whatever you want. So there you go. Most of the time, I chose another Franz Kiner. <laughs> Franz Kiner. So, um, yeah, it's, it's my bad. I overlooked this. And the flavours in there, the caramel, the toasted malts, the herbiness. Um, yeah, the rich nice. kind of honey, sweet malt, honey it's... sweetness to it. And it is fruity. And it's, yeah. I couldn't say what fruit. It's, it's very, very drinkable. It's in the mix, but there you go. So, you're on a definite yes here. Um, yeah, I'd give it a yes, and... Um, yeah, it has to be an eight. This is, this is a good drink. Yeah, for me, I'd go a yes and a seven. Um, I, I will try it more. This is the first time I've ever, ever tried that. 
but I can feel it could be one I could get into. Mm. I will try a few pints. I thought originally the keg would be for Michelle and I'll get the mind blower, the Victoria that's in there. <laughs> and I love the Victoria, don't get me wrong, but uh, 8.5. Really <laughs> yeah, he don't want to be doing too many, but yeah, I'll go on a, a firm seven at least. And I tell you what, if the ch chance of rails, I would drink it again. Yeah. I would, I would definitely have that again. It's really pleasantly surprised me. Some people would even said to me in um, groups, I'm not sure you'll like that, Paul. And I thought, well, I'll give it a go because we brought the keg. It's sat here a while. Mm. And it's one of them that we just put back and just thought, oh, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm going and then that. others have been coming <laughs> in and gone in front of it and it just never got done. And unfortunately, I was getting it ready yesterday or the day before, wasn't I? And then I couldn't find it on the website to get the price and everything. Is that funny? That's it. So it's yeah. going to have to be a goodbye. So yeah, it's an R.I.P. A, a goodbye video but for this one. anyone loving it, never say never. Because yeah. as I say, the king was dead <laughs> and the king got brought back. If there's enough of you like it. that like it, mm -hmm. anything's possible. So <laughs> do comment, do share and um, say, you know, I'm going to miss this bloody thing. <laughs> and who knows, you never know. Never say never anyway. Right, uh, have you got this far? Of course, obviously. Thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. Um, feel free, like, subscribe if you haven't, comment, and yeah, do share. Bonjour. See you next time.